Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to some Splatoon with your hopefully favorite Rocket Guy gaming channel. Not that you, there's probably, not that there's any other Rocket Guy gaming channels that I know of anyway. If there are, hopefully I'm still your favorite one. Hey, guys, anyway, I am stoked for this video. And the reason is, is I've been looking forward to trying a sniper rifle in this game for a long time. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be any good at them. It's kind of a self-defeatist attitude. But I've been looking forward to trying one. In this game, they're called Splatter Scopes, at least as far as I can tell anyway. And uh, I've been looking forward to this video for a while. And so I'm just, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the Splatter Scope here. And like in all of my uh, weapons, I guess you would call them weapon review videos, I will, uh... Once I kind of get the general hang of it, I will take it into a couple ranked, or excuse me, um, some regular battles, some turf war battles. So I'll do about three of those, and then we'll do three ranked battles just to see how it holds up. You know, kind of a first impressions. It's not like a review from someone who's used these things over and over and over again. Um, you probably want to find someone who is an expert splatter shot guy for that, but this is more of a first impression thing. Long story short, I am stoked. I am super excited. To try this one out so let's actually uh i guess there's is one splatter or excuse me not splatter shot i'm not sure what i was looking for actually let's see where is the uh the splatter scope there it is that's the fella i'm looking for right there hopefully i was calling it the right thing earlier <laughs> oh i didn't call it the like the splatter shot but sometimes i get the my my name's confused in my brain or the wrong thing comes out of my mouth Either way, it's probably a sign that I should take some kind of a medicine <laughs> or just play the game more often. So anyway, I'm going to test this sucker out because I've been super stoked for it. So go ahead and test. Yeah, let's see what we do. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Bam. It doesn't quite make it the whole way. That's kind of disappointing. But let's see here. From the top down, that is what? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. About 30 yards worth of distance. So I guess it's... I, for some reason, I guess I just kind of expected it to, you know, go forever or something. Sorry, I got, a, I got my virus protection thing popped up telling me to buy more stuff. So hopefully that didn't cause any problem on the record there. Okay. So anyway, it doesn't go forever. But it does go about, what do we count? I already forgot. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. About 30 yards if you count these little hash marks as the five yard lines. Um, so I guess it's like anything. You just you just kind of aim it. Whoa, it is powerful, obviously. So that is good to know. What kind of bombs does it throw here? Okay, just regular bombs. I guess triangle bombs, if that's what you would call them. Um, so yeah. Um, it looks it looks pretty cool. Let's, let's see what it looks like from the front there. Um, yeah, let me grab a, I'll grab a, sc a screen grab of that. So that's probably what you saw when you clicked on the video. Um, maybe not. Depends on if I find something cooler during the battles, but more than likely that will be it. And I'm trying to, uh, trying to cover some ground. The bombs take a lot of, a lot of juice here. I'm trying to, um, wow, one bomb and I'm out of, out of juice. Actually, that makes a good point. Let's see how much the, uh, Let's see, so I had a full tank when I shot that, and I don't know how full my tank is now, so let's try to throw a bomb. Um, I don't know how many shots do I get on a... Actually, you know, let me charge my tank up completely. I'm going to see how many shots I can get on a full tank. So I'm just going to... I'll practice while I'm at it. That's one. That one doesn't work. So I'm going to start that again. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, even though I missed, seven, eight, there it is, nine. So it, it, it marks out about, you know, it was starting to tell me I was running low, but it does charge back up even as you're standing there. So about eight or so before it. Causes all sorts of problems. I'm not sure what my... Looks like my uh, bomb rush is the uh, is a special. That's pretty cool. So you just throw a bunch of these in case you get yourself caught somewhere where you don't want to be. 
Um, obviously, it's not the Ink Strike, which is my favorite special in the world, but it'll work. So I'm going to bounce out of here, and I'm going to buy this thing, and we're going to go try it out. So exit. And yes, hook me up, Sheldon. Yes, I'm going to buy it and equip it. And you can tell me that it's going to go to a good home. Or maybe I tell you it's going to a good home. Either way, it's going to a good home. So, we got it. Let's bounce out of here. And let's take this thing into some regular Turf War battles. I'm not expecting this to be all that great in Turf War. Yeah, like I said, I'm not expecting this to be... At least I'm not expecting it to be. I could be wrong. That's the that's the purpose of trying new things, I suppose. I'm not expecting it to be great in Turf War, just because... Um, you know, it seems like definitely more of a, a, a player versus player, kind of a, a an anti-whatever you would call it. It's like a PvP gun. Back when I used to play games, PvP stood for player versus player. Yeah, so anyway, like I was saying, is I'm not sure how much ink this will actually cover up. I don't think this is going to be the kind of gun that uh, will get you lots and lots of coverage on these kind of levels. Could be wrong. I guess I'll find out. Um, so, I, you know, hey, why not, you know? But more than likely, my, my first guess is that you'll want something with a little more, oh, I don't know, automatic quality to it. You know, I'm going to charge here. Look at that. There's someone doing the same thing as me and I'm not gonna be able to reach him there he's got a longer range than I do don't know where he went but I'm not gonna be able to reach him from there okay like I've always said um, <laughs> I don't want to get myself into too many situations where I'm you know kind of at the mercy of um, Nope, see, I only can throw one bomb at a time, so... I don't want to get myself into a spot where I'm at the mercy of... Whoops, did someone finally get me with that splatter scope up there? Ooh, three times scope, so that's why they had more range than me. Anyway, what I was trying to say is I don't want to get myself into a spot where it's kind of a, um, a gun battle. Uh, because I don't think I have the right kind of gun to just uh, win those kind of games. Um... Okay, where are you at? All right, there's a kill. <laughs> okay, that one uh, flew off the edge altogether, and I got splatted by somebody. That same thing. Okay, so someone's got a better... It's kind of hard to try out the uh, sniper scope, because it seems... Or a uh, sniper scope. Jeez, I'm making up words now. Um, the, the splatter scope, because... Kind of, uh, one of the... One of the things I was looking forward to was kind of sniping from afar, and... Um, obviously it's kind of hard to do that when someone can snipe from farther than you. So you know what, I saw a guy over here. Um, but I don't know where anybody's at. And I, ah, oh, I can't reach him. Shoot. So now I've got to hide behind this thing. Uh, I'm not going to catch him. Okay, I got low wink and I can't even, uh... But there might be him up here. I'm, I'm uh, not going to win this one, <laughs> I don't think. Oh, come on, let me out of here. There we go. Okay, uh, at this point, I am completely retreating. Not because I'm a coward, per se, although maybe I am. You could argue that. But more so because... Did I kill him? Nope. Okay, that's the guys on my own team. Jeez, guys, I am so... Uh, Discombobulated here, trying to learn the tricks of the splatter shot or a splatter scope, excuse me. That I'm, um, <laughs> I'm throwing bombs off the edges of, of the lakes. So that's how, um, you know what? Uh, what the heck? Cover up a little ground while I'm at it. I expect to get about 12 points out of that game. At least the team won, so that's cool. Um, and fairly handedly, I don't think I contributed much to that at all. I did get 300 points for the win. So yeah, 300 points, if you take that away from my 495, it gave me uh, 195 points. 
Not going to set the world on fire with that. But like I said, I didn't expect this to be a great turf war gun. But maybe on this next game there won't be anyone with uh, any sniper guns. So I can uh, find, a, find a high perch and shoot from a... Well, at least from somewhat of a distance anyway. It all depends on what they got. Back at this map, the Mahi Mahi Resort. Um, okay, so there I am with the rifle. Doesn't look like anyone on their team has a rifle, so that's cool. That gives me a chance to um, maybe uh, not have to worry about uh, guys competing with me for the uh, for the top spot there. Actually, looks like someone else on my team's got one too. <laughs> Whoops! Jeez, I was being all aggressive. I shouldn't do that. That's not the point of this gun. I was just uh, thinking, well, I'll just get closer for a for a better for a better vantage point, and then, um, as as luck would have it, I uh, <laughs> as I as I kept going, I was like, this is uh, very exposed. Certainly not the purpose of of those kind of guns. Okay, where's somebody at here? At this point, I'm. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing. You know what? I don't know what I'm doing. So, um, I guess I'll just shoot my own buddy there. Whoops, here comes somebody. I did not kill him. I know that for a fact. Um, so I guess I will get back to business up here. Um, geez, it would be uh, nice to actually... Is that guy? There we go. Um, missed him, but... Uh, not enough range. Shoot. Hey, come on out of there. There we go. Okay, so I got I got one guy. <laughs> not certainly not gonna win the win the game. Being excited about killing one guy, but um, I am kind of getting the hang of it a little bit. So that's cool. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm certainly whoa. My my fault. I didn't even see that guy. Well, <laughs> of course it's my fault. Whose fault would it be? But, uh, let's see here, okay. So, kind of getting the hang of using it. Um, it seems like it would uh, definitely be more of a gun that you'd want to be, uh, want to hop up here. Is there, is that, I just see a guy swim over there, and I probably don't have the range here just quite yet like this to, uh, to make it all the way over there. So, I'm not sure what my, uh, my role here. Come on back over here. I see ya. Where's your head? There we go. It's right there. Haha, headshot. Whoa, I don't even have enough ink to, uh... Whoops. He must have ducked right when I shot that, because, um... Looked like I had him in the crosshairs, but then he turned into a kraken, so that must have been his escape plan. So again, I, um... This time, we're definitely not going to win this game, and it's uh, probably more than likely definitely my fault. Oh, jeez. Um, so kind of as expected, it's not uh, turning out to be a great gun for coverage. If I could find a good spot with, with just enough distance, but not too much, because this thing doesn't have all the range that I thought it might have, actually. Look at that, 176 points. <laughs> Sorry guys, that was my fault. I do I do feel bad when I do these review, kind of first impression review videos that, um, you know, there's three other guys who kind of have to deal with me stumbling along on a new weapon. I mean, I don't feel that bad. I mean, I don't want to be like, oh my gosh, I'm just going to call them up and send them a card at Christmas. But I do feel a little bit bad. Not bad enough to, you know, stop doing these kind of videos, but... You know, a little bit. A little bit. I shed a little tear. Not a big one. Alright, same zone again. So after this, we'll take it into some ranked battles. and Maybe it'll be uh, a little bit better there. Maybe? Maybe not. You never know. So... Um, Definitely the bombs are the uh, <laughs> the only way to cover up stuff that I know of with this gun because the gun itself isn't going to be very... Where are you at, guys? Oh, 
too far away. So that's the other kind of danger. This is is to uh okay up here maybe. I thought I saw someone. You kind of you know once you get yourself locked into the scope, you're kind of uh, vulnerable. Like that. <laughs> so once you put it up to your eyeball, you uh, you uh, get pretty. You're kind of a sitting duck. Because not only are you kind of uh, standing there like like somebody with a bump on a log, but you also don't have uh, a lot of vision because your vision's kind of limited by... <laughs> well, there's a wasted bomb. Your vision's limited by the scope. And once you put the, once you put the eyepiece up and you start making the, you know, start aiming with the scope, then, you know, you, uh, <laughs> you, it moves really slow at that point because obviously it's all about fine controlling. Okay, where are you at? Boy, he hid right behind that, right when I wanted to shoot him. Bummer. Okay, I'll come around here. There we go, there's one kill anyway. I won't get completely skunked. Okay. Let's find some more find some more dudes. It might be that this is a uh... okay, I just saw him. I don't know where he went. There's there's a dude. There's two dudes. And I'm a sitting duck. Just like that. Okay. So I might go uh, bomb rush here. Whoa, I thought I was doing bomb rush. I guess not. I must not have had enough uh must not have had enough juice after all. Okay. Oh, look at that. You, you can, uh, you can kind of, uh, pull the trigger down briefly. There we go. So it, I don't think it charges up as much as my guess, or maybe the range is different. Hey, get me out of there. Okay, so you know what? Bombs away! Oh, then I got splatted in the process. So hopefully I at least got a little bit of uh, coverage down there for the team with all that bomb rushing. Um, again, and, uh, like I said before, uh, probably not the best gun to uh, to be using. F oh, I hope that doesn't count. It seemed like as soon as I jumped when it stopped, I fell straight down. I wasn't keeping track, so I don't know if that'll count against me or not. Didn't do a very good job. I, I kind of I kind of expected that in Turf War though. Um, you know, just just for the sheer fact that it doesn't seem like the kind of gun you would want to use to cover up a lot of ground. I could be wrong. Maybe I'll figure that out. But that will have to come at a different time because I'm going to go play some ranked battles. I don't know how I'm going to do because this is uh, never played a sniper on this game before. And there's only one way to find out. We'll take it into some... I'm not even sure what kind of battles they got going on here. I guess I should have looked. I do know they show them at the beginning. Uh, Rainmaker. Oh, that's my least favorite of the ranked battles. But it should serve its purpose of, you know, kind of getting me used to, or, or at least giving me a good... I don't know if getting used to is the right words, but, you know, a good impression of what the uh, what a scope gun can do here. In this case, the splatter scope, regular splatter scope. I know they've got hot rotted versions that are coming up. Uh, and I'm drinking ginger ale again today. Let's see if anybody else has uh, snipers. They don't. So that's good, I suppose. I can at least uh, have that going for me. I'm not even sure where the Rainmaker is, to be honest with you. Oh, there it is down there. Okay. So I might... Um... Okay, well, obviously, I'm a horrible aim. Okay, so uh, clearly, I'm not the guy that you want on your team at this point. 
while I'm trying to figure out the splatter scope. So, sorry guys. I wish there was like a way to say like, sorry in advance. Because I would be saying it as we speak. Wow, how did I miss that guy? It must just be, uh... I don't even know. I don't even know! Okay, where are you at? Oh, that wasn't enough! Okay, there we go. You know what? I am just gonna... Okay, it's gonna hit hit our color here, hopefully. And, uh, or not. I'm just getting myself destroyed in the process. Oh, someone dropped an ink strike. I thought the, uh, I thought the, the... The Rainmaker color shield blower upper thing, you like that? It's a technical word, by the way. Somehow, uh, blew up teal rather than orange. Okay, so where are some peeps here? There's someone. Okay, and that's obviously, uh... Apparently it's not enough to kill people. I'm uh, running very quickly out of <laughs> out of ability to do anything. I ran out of ink, and then I was hosed because my bombs take up a lot of ink as well. So I'm just going to huck one down there. Because I am uh, pretty much useless right now. My team will hate me for... Oh, and I fell into an ink strike. Of all things to do... Okay, this is probably, again, where it would be advantageous to, um, to have, uh, boy, it's like I'm not even, uh, putting the hurt on these guys here. Okay, I finally killed somebody, and now I'm out of ink, so now I gotta charge this back up. Um, yeah, well, they clearly won, <laughs> obviously. Uh, I, I, I kind of expected not to be good. I think this is one of those guns where I would love to learn how to be good. But it's def, you know, and I, I, I think with some practice, hey, look at that, I actually scored the best on the team. Don't ask me how that happened. Um, not, not, it doesn't count for anything except losing 10 points. But long story short is I can see how this would be awesome to learn. Um, I don't think I'm a quick enough aimer. Um, but, you know, probably with those motion controls, if I could just get my butt in gear, um, like a lot of you guys have mentioned, and just spend a lot of time learning how to do those, that would probably help me out quite a bit. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just kind of doing the thumb control here, and, and, uh, and the gun's pretty cool. It seems like there's been a few times where I've actually hit somebody with it, and it, they haven't gotten killed. I don't know if that's an issue of either one, me missing them and thinking I'm hitting them, which is entirely possible, or that, you know, maybe they're a higher level. I don't know if they have, you know, more armor, they have super strength or super shield or some random thing, but it does seem like there's been a few times where I've hit someone square in the jaw and it doesn't take them out. But I guess that's to kind of be expected. I'm sure the strong... And I know there's a lot more of these scope guns as the game goes on. Alright, back to the old make it rain level. And kind of the bummer of the thing is, is um, um, I, I bet that with, uh, I'll, I'll charge my ink up in that, well, shoot. I was, <laughs> I, I thought I could stand in that one spot and uh, charge up. Okay, where are you at, dude? Can I reach you from here? Nope. Not quite. Apparently I don't have enough range quite to hit that guy. So let me charge up here. Um, okay, where are we at, guys? Where's where's our dudes? Okay, we got this we got the rainmaker, that's cool. Can I get that guy? Probably could if I would aim on him. Oh, see he's got a shield on. So uh I feel like I should be covering more ground, but I'm not. I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm just gonna get down here and hopefully, whoa! Okay, so I at least got that guy taken out. Once that thing blows up, I'll see if I can't run over and grab it. I don't have enough range. Okay, I guess I do have range to take that, because I got that guy. Whoa. 
Oh, get me out of... Ah, shoot. See, that's the problem, too, is uh, you're pretty exposed with this gun. Maybe what I ought to try, you know, I'm, I'm just going to try this, is I'm going to rush in and kind of treat it like a single shot gun, rather, or, uh, like, you know, like, a, like if it was like a pistol, like that. So, range is probably next to nothing, but maybe I can, uh, actually, there's somebody there. Come on, let me kill you. Up, oh, I don't have the range. I thought for sure I'd have the range, but I do not. So, let's see if, uh, somehow, magically... Oh, shoot. Um, I think the thing is when you, when you, what probably, at least what I'm thinking anyway, is as you hold the trigger button down, the charge isn't for power, it's probably for distance. So, while I'm sitting there, you know, trying to shoot it as fast as I can, I'm actually, uh, hurting myself because it probably goes, like, four feet. So, you know what, well, um, there's a dude there, I don't think I can shoot through that fence. Um, do I have the range to take him out here? Yep, see, I'm just, I just don't have quite an, oh, shoot. Okay, so this is going to take some practice. I'm certainly not a sniper player by nature, never have been in any kind of shooter game. It's just never been my cup of tea. Um, okay, so I'll let those guys kind of lead the way. And I'm... Oh, that guy got him. That was nice. Nice of him. Polite. Saved me from having to snipe. But see, look at that. My gun just doesn't get the distance I wish it did. Okay, so they got it. Where are they at? And I'm sitting on some on somebody's purple ink. So, let's see here. Whoa! That guy kind of came up on me and I wasn't even looking at him. I'm sitting here trying to figure out how the heck I'm going to contribute at all. Now, and a dude just came up and punched me right in the face with his roller. Where are you at? I saw you a second ago. Oh, not quite enough range. Oh, I guess there was a range on that one. Okay, I'll take that. Well, someone got me with an ink zooka, it looks like. I do feel very exposed when I put the uh, sniper gun, or the sniper scope, up to my eyeball because um, I'm just kind of a sitting duck when I do that. So let's see here. We got knocked out pretty quick. I think I got one game left. I really wasn't counting. Um, so I think that was game two, not game three. Look at that. I scored the best on the team again. I don't know how, but, you know, it doesn't count for anything. So first, last, doesn't matter. But I will uh, try this one more time here. And maybe they'll put me in the other map that's rotating as we speak. You know, I would love to be good with the scoped weapon. I just think that's fun. I think that when you can find a little nest and pop up and charge again, uh, you know, pop up and down out of the ink and don't let your gun run too long and also don't keep the gun to your eyeball too long. I, you know, there, I'm sure there's like a good rhythm. The people who are really good at the scopes here, the splatter scope, probably have a rhythm figured out as to kind of like a submarine. You pop up are just long enough to make your shot and then you hide back down again and move around so I do and I'm back at the same bluefin depot must be the must be the only stage going on right now either that or I just you know randomly got it three times in a row so let's see here probably not the best gun again uh, sorry not the best gun uh, not the best spot but I don't have enough range to actually... Way to go, guy. Okay, who's shooting at you? I will uh, shoot them back. Maybe. If I can find where they are. There we 
go. At least we killed him anyway. And him. Alright, way to go, guy. You run with that thing. Where'd he go? Oh, I just saw him a second ago. But I'm kind of taking my life out of my hands. Shoot. Uh, put my life in my own hands there, standing up exposed like that. I definitely need to find the rhythm of... You know, shoot and submerge. They lost the Rainmaker, that's good. Because I would like our team to have it. And I'm not going to reach that from here. Not by a long shot. Oh, where'd you go? I just saw you, but I gotta, I gotta keep myself... Gotta be smart about how I play here and uh, not let myself get, get trapped. Yeah, maybe we won. I don't know. I wasn't even paying attention to who had it. Uh, yeah, cool, cool. I, like, like I said, I, I kind of got myself so tunnel vision, no pun intended, because it's more like scope vision that I wasn't paying attention to how we did, but look at that, somehow I scored the best. Don't ask me how, because I wouldn't be able to tell you. I don't know what goes into these scores, um, but that's cool, because I'll take, I'll take first place on the winning team. Um, you know what, here's what I'm gonna do, like I do in every, every one of these reviews, is I'll, I'll compare this one to my current favorite, which is the, um, oh, what gun am I using now? It's the 52, uh, Gal Deco. So let me uh, go ahead and get that one fired up. There we go. 52 Gal Deco. Back out of there, back out of there. And I'm going to try another ranked battle just so I can kind of compare the two of them. But the Splatter Scope is a pretty cool gun. Like, you know, there's a lot of these guns or weapons that I try and I just, you know, it's like I'm trying them for the sake of trying them. I just don't like them. And the splatter scope is not that way. I, I really, I, I was really excited to try it, and I'm still really excited about it. You know, I think once you kind of find your rhythm of where and when to pop out, how to use the bombs along with it, and keeping yourself submerged, don't keep the don't keep the scope up to your eyeball for too long. I think those are probably the keys to, um, you know, to, to using it effectively. And I could definitely see with some practice. That would be a lot, a lot of fun to uh, to have. So I may actually go back and do another splatter scope video at some point, um, or or I'll just go back and start over from the beginning of this level here because I'm horrible and just jumped right in front of somebody's ink bullets. I'm not sure what the what the real word is: ink bullets, ink sprays. Um, but I. It's kind of weird. I'm kind of. I have to. Every time I do one of these, I kind of have to reteach myself how to actually play. Play with the. Uh, play with the Dell uh, machine gun kind of thing again because. Um, it's just. You know, it's like. It's different. <laughs> I was sitting there, you know, charging up on the scope and looking at an eyepiece and. And uh, it takes a second or two to. Uh, hey. How'd I do that? <laughs> I walked, we danced around there like a bunch of ballet partners. Okay, that's a bummer too because I had a ink strike ready to go. Let me charge that up. Um, we've taken the lead, cool. We lost it though, so lead or no lead, we don't have it anymore. Okay. They have... We lost the lead. Well, let's not... Whoops! I uh, I must have been walking backwards in the wrong direction. I was trying to <laughs> I was trying to walk backwards and avoid um, getting shot by those guys, and I clearly did not do what I set out to do because I got shot right in the face by them. and blast that thing to oblivion, see if that, uh... I actually got somebody with that. I saw that come up on the bottom. Oops. 
Uh, someone got me with with a, a longer scope than the one I have. Although it looks like I got them too, so I, you know, I'll take it. And uh, that's a pretty tight battle here so far. We got uh, neither one of us have really moved this thing very far. So let me uh, see. There's someone with the scope up there. Or at least it looks like it. Whoa! Get me out of there. There we go. Haha, -ha. for once I was the one killing someone with the scope. Ah, shoot. Shoot. Alright. Well, at least so far we're winning. So I'll... Don't want to... Don't want to bank on that there's still a lot of game left. But... It is... It is nice to be ahead, even if it's just briefly. Whoops, whoops, what did I do? I must, have, I must have tried to swim through a grate or something. I don't even know how I did that. So, um, <laughs> I'll go back to where I was trying to go, which is over here. So they've got... Okay, then they fell. So I don't know what happens if someone with the Rainmaker falls in the water. Does it? I guess it must go back to the center there. Okay, so that's kind of... Must be, must be the way it goes. Alright, buddy, I'll help you. Someone, they're really, they're really blowing us up here. Although we have gotten the Rainmaker farther than they have. Let's see, let's uh, get to the action. Okay, so they're... Whoa! And I got killed by the Rainmaker thing, which I think is just a giant ink zooka. Let's see, they lost it. Um, I'm hoping at this point that they don't stand a chance, but... Uh-oh, it's about to blow up orange. Get me out of there. Are we in uh, overtime? We are. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna let that charge up. Let that blow up over there. I don't know where it went. I don't have any idea where it went. I guess way up there. Um, but I think we won, if I understand the way the... the uh, yeah, okay. Don't completely understand what happens in the overtime stuff. I don't know if it's like soccer, you know, when you're playing, you watch soccer on TV, or football if you're European or anywhere outside the United States. It's called football, not soccer, but for us Americans, call it soccer. And uh, you know, something about there's a game clock, but the clock kind of keeps going no matter what. And then even when the game's over, um, they don't stop the game until the changes hands. I don't get it, but you know what? I'm going to try this again. I'm having a good time and it's always nice to end on a win so I guess I should have ended there that would have been a guarantee to end on a win so I hope I get another win I'm certainly not going to hit level 18 or get the Knicks rank beyond C plus but hopefully we'll end with a good win anyway and I will drink more ginger ale in the process Ah, uh, that is good stuff. I gotta look down here at the map in terms of where I'm supposed to take this thing, because I don't think I've ever played, uh, um, whatever you call this here, Rainmaker, on this level. So I, even if I get it, I don't know where I would take it. And I don't know if, you, if you're the one who keeps blasting that thing, if, uh... Look at that. There's somebody up there with a... 
filter that out up here. Where are you at? I don't even know. I don't even know where they went. Oh. Did I get, uh... Oh, I barely got off the side of that. I was afraid to go too far. I felt like I kind of got pinched off in between the, uh... In between the water and... Between the water and the, uh... And that, and that guy's killer whale. Well, I was up against three guys there, <laughs> and I kind of ran in front of my own teammates that are kind of like lead blockers, and it was my own fault. I just saw it, and it did not have a shield on it, and I thought, well, what the heck, I'll just take it and see what I can do. So, let's see, where are we at here? So I didn't even know I had the Rainmaker on. I went down there, tried to go around it, and... <laughs> wow. Um, I don't even know what to say. Obviously, I uh, clearly need to take an intelligence test, because I must be the dumbest person on the planet to not know I even had the Rainmaker as I'm sitting there. Let's see if that... Oops. It takes forever to charge that thing up. I forgot about that. Right, I do have an ink strike, so let's just go ahead and blast that up and see how that goes. Okay, right now I'm just sending out seekers here, hoping to uh to uh to pave the way for my buddy here. I don't know. Um, I must have gone up here. I wasn't. Okay. Okay, we're doing good. Okay, go on, dude. Go on. Lock that in. There we go. There we go. Okay. That's a good place to stop. I think that was a pretty solid win. You know, it wasn't really back and forth, but it wasn't a complete blowout right off the bat either. So we'll take that. That's a nice, a nice little win to end on. Um, hey, and I even scored best out of my team again. I don't know how when the other guy had 14 kills. I don't really know how that works, but why not? You know, I'll, I'll take it. It's a lot of points to take. But uh, in terms of the splatter scope, guys, I totally dig that gun. I totally dig it. And... It's something I might uh, might play with some more, maybe even some more videos to try to get better at it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, say no thanks here. But in terms of the splatter scope, like I was saying, could definitely see myself using that gun with some more practice. You know, kind of, it's not just a matter of using the gun in terms of, you know, how it works, how it aims, that kind of stuff. But kind of the, like I said before, kind of the rhythm of how it works. It seems... It seems as though if you can kind of find the perfect balance between swimming around and keeping your stuff charged up. Um, so if you need to throw some bombs, you can, because those bombs take a lot of ink. But if you swim around and, and don't make yourself a sitting duck, pop up, look really quick, and uh, be able to aim really quick, and either get your shot off or not, but then go right back down again and move around so you're not just, uh, you know, standing out there like... <laughs> like pin the tail on the donkey and there you are like with a giant bullseye on your back uh, Once you figured that out, it seems like that would be a really cool gun So I might actually even do another video in the not too distant future of playing with that gun some more seeing if I can't build up some Experience I guess you would call it with with the uh, splatter scope But as for now in terms of you know being a productive team member or just being able to actually play competitively um I'll probably stick with the 52 gal deco weapon set, you know, with the sinkers, or sinkers, boy, I'm sorry guys, the seekers, there we go, although I did fall in the water enough, it seemed like I was sinking, they have seekers, they have ink strikes, I love it, I love ink strikes, they're my favorite special weapon, so for now that's what I'm sticking with, but it's not because I don't like the splatter scope, because I do, totally awesome, alright guys, I'm gonna let you go here, 
Thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far, I really, 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 really appreciate your patronage. So um, hopefully we'll get you for another video. I'm not sure what I'll do next time. I don't know if I'll do another weapon review or not. Kind of up in the air. I've done a couple in a row, so I might go. I might, I might do another weapon review, and I might not. I'm gonna look at my list, and I can tell you which one it would be if I do. It will be the L3 Nozzle Nose D. So that'll be, if not next video, uh, in, in the next probably one, two, or three videos, I'll definitely get to that one. In the meantime, guys, thanks so much for your comments, your likes, your thumbs up, your hey, how's it goings, and um, yeah, uh, until next time, guys, like I always say, I should always, always add with, uh, feel free to subscribe because that's all part of the fun. In the meantime, guys, I am taking off, so adios.